He's all right out here. Was he bedded down right here? He was lying over there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, oh, it's thick. Can you go that is thick. Yeah, I got, I got body, but it's thick. That's a nice sable. That's a nice sable. No, there it goes. He's gone there right. He, goes. he went right instead of left. Damn, that was a nice bull. Mm. You know, first day and all, but still, when you see one that big. Yeah, you'll oof. be thinking about him for oof. a while. Yeah. It's funny how they, when they, they start out being quite gregarious, they stay together as young bulls, then they do their time on a herd, and then mm -hmm. when they're done, He's the... they're like old gentlemen, they just lie off in the bush and smoke a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> to smoke something else. Yeah. But. <laughs> Zambia is named after the Zambezi River, which means river of God. But for hunters, it is the thick cover of Zambia that both giveth and taketh away. I made this journey to hunt plains game, specifically a sable, and I knew that the right outfitter for sable in this country is none other than Pete Fisher of Ninchilla Wildlife Preserve. Just a family business. They care about service. It's not a big commercial operation. It's one-on-one -on -one kind of personal attention, but the sable, the sable. Mm. It was just epic. Shiny coat. Beautiful. Because sable, number one, are spectacular animals. I haven't taken one since I was here on my honeymoon 20 years ago. So I really wanted to get another one, but a really big one, and they've got the giants here. They stand royal, they look royal, and they're just a phenomenally beautiful animal. And unfortunately for them, their arrogance uh, has caused their demise in a lot of locations because they don't run. They, they, they are less spooky than a lot of other species. Yeah, well, he's good, but... No, it's not he's the one. thinking he's not quite, yeah. No, he's not, he's not the one I want. Yeah, only here would you not take that guy. While Sable is at the top of my wish list, you have to have an open mind whenever you hunt Plains Game in Africa. It's truly a dealer's choice over here, and as you travel through the country, you will come across a wide variety of animals, some of which just are too magnificent to pass up. And you literally never know what you're going to encounter, who's going to be there. I don't see any male. I'm combing that cover back there. Just the two females. Two females. Every day is full of surprises. Oh, there's a bull in the back. Some lovely bulls there. Oh, yeah. There's an old granny sable, second from the left. She'll be matriarch. She's also carrying baby. Mm, look at that, yeah. But she'll be the decider as to where they go and when they go. Watch her, she'll give the commands. Bull has no authority over the, the movement and thing of the herds. He just breeds, that's it. OK, we'll move. Cool, that was great. It's not just any sable I'm looking for, as this land has already shown its incredible numbers of such a beast. It is the sable I'm looking for, a cut above the rest, and Pete Fisher wanted to check one more hot spot before we had to call it a day. So we start walking this ridge looking for sable in a, in a little valley where he said, look, there's, there's some really nice bulls down there. Sure enough, we get on a, a pinnacle point. What do we see? We see a really nice sable bull. That's a big sable. Oof. The black one. Oof. Look how long his tips are. Yeah, no, he's a, he looks like a stud from here. The brown one goes wide and he hooks up. He does out. go wide yeah. when he comes, hooks down. The black one goes high and back. Boy, that's every bit of 400 yards. I'd say 450. Yeah, that's a long shot. If we just backtrack, we'll get to another vista. We, we'll, we can easily eat up 150, 200 yards by getting back that way. Uh. We work down this ridge and just maybe four or 500 yards down, come up over a little bit of a knoll, and we're right on top of him. He's not even 100 yards away. See his neck and head sticking out from the tree. Just use that, that handle's the best rest you'll get. Take him in the middle of the shoulder. You, you got him clear? Middle of the shoulder. Here we go. I got okay, it. Go, right here. go. Take a shot. It's a good hit. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go around the side. All right, I think he's going to go down right over here. He's wobbly back here. You hit him on the point of the shoulder? Yeah, it felt good. Sure. Yeah. 
he takes that shot right through the shoulders and he runs probably two, 300 yards. But that's emblematic of how tough these animals are in Africa. You won't go far. If I see him, I can shoot. You won't go far. You got to hit him well. You got to hit him with enough gun. Here he is. Good shooting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How well fantastic is that, huh? <laughs> what a beast. Coming up on a sable, you're, you're breathless at how beautiful these animals are. I mean, they're just spectacular beasts. That is just a stunner. Well, when you say you got the big sable, you're not just kidding. <laughs> just a beauty, man, just a beauty. Here's a very, very beautiful sable we're looking at here. And well done, Chris, for pulling off that shot so quickly. What a hunt, fantastic. It's a good way to end the day right there. Sable and the salt, huh?